It's a unique privilege to be a vascular surgeon. We can repair and replace sick blood vessels all over the body. We can prevent strokes from occurring, and we can see the dramatic results of those operations before our eyes every week that we come to work. We're not taking diseases out. We're redesigning things. We're rerouting, we're rebuilding, we're changing the anatomy, and there's often a lot of different ways to do it. That's where it gets really creative. The reason that I find vascular surgery so rewarding is that unlike a lot of other surgeons, we take care of our patients for life. They need long-term surveillance and they tend to develop problems in other locations, so it's a lifelong relationship with the patients. And of course, what we really want to do is cure people. We want to get closer to that idea behind the name of this foundation. We've made tremendous gains in the technical and the ability to do something for patients that 50 years ago were very risky operations or not doable at all. But what I'm faced with that we can't easily address are the patients who develop recurring problems after technically successful operations. I do this operation the same way we think every time. And I see people who have a great result still working at seven, eight, 10 years later, and I see other people having trouble within three years. And so right away, you could say, why is that? That's still the thing that bugs me every week. Not every surgeon does research, and most researchers are not surgeons. You know, for me, I couldn't imagine anything else. I mean, what I see in my patients is what motivates the research. But it's hard to establish yourself as both at the same time. There's only so many hours in a week. But the gratification of working on a complex problem over time and peeling the onion and designing studies and making new observations and trying to solve a complex problem piece by piece. But it's balanced by having a, an immediate gratification of being a surgeon. You know, when you're trained to fly F-16s, you need to fly. So a surgeon who's trying to do science is never gonna to be totally happy. One week they'll feel like they didn't do enough surgery, and the next week they'll feel like they didn't do enough research. And as long as those weeks are fluctuating, you're probably good. But if you don't operate enough, you feel like, you know, I need to do some surgery. The engineers have done a great job in creating all sorts of technology to get us in and out of these blood vessels. But the lag is on the science side. We need the biologists and the biochemists and the geneticists to catch up to the engineers. So that's the future of vascular surgery research and why those of us who treat patients every week and see these problems understand the magnitude of this unmet need. I mean, we're past the point of just getting people through the procedure. We still can go a lot farther to build on these technical successes and make them cures.